Hey everyone, welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. Here's just a quick one on how to unlock the Fennec SMG and the CR56 AMAX assault rifle as fast as possible in Season 4 of Modern Warfare Warzone and Multiplayer. And so I'm going to effectively show you guys how to level up your tiers as fast as possible. I've done another video on this, which is a bit longer and a bit more in depth about how to level up your tiers faster in Season 4. So if you want to go and check that out, feel free to do so. But this is just a quick one on how to level up the Battle Pass enough to get both those weapons from the pass. So the Fennec SMG you unlock at tier 16 and the CR56 AMAX you unlock that at tier 31 so you don't have to do tons and tons of playing to get this you should guys be able to get this in no time but I've had a lot of comments on the previous video saying that you guys are just looking to get this so if that is you then here is the best way to get those weapons unlocked now if you guys find this video useful be sure to leave a like on the video it really helps me out and feel free to subscribe if you enjoy the video and want to see more of these I'm gonna put timestamps in the description and make sure you guys are sticking around to the end of the video so you don't miss out on any important tips right without out of the way let's get into it so first things first as I'm sure you guys will know the main factor that goes into leveling up your battle pass is the time played so obviously the more time you spend in game the faster you unlock the battle pass so obviously you do need to be playing a lot of the game which I guess is kind of common sense and so hence I'd suggest that if you play longer matches it's more because you're spending less time in the lobby and more time in the game that would be my first main point so therefore you want to be playing longer matches like domination hardpoint and headquarters i also want to point out that you need to be doing well in these matches as well you can't just be playing long matches you've got to actually do well in them you need to be doing whatever you can to earn more xp getting more kills etc and i'll explain how to do that in just a minute the main best modes to get this done as fast as possible right now would either be spec ops slash survival this is really good and if you don't like playing multiplayer or warzone definitely check that out otherwise warzone's really good as well and you want to just try and prolong the match as much as possible I'll explain how to do that in just a minute and then finally multiplayer at the moment we've got shipment and shoot house separate playlists obviously that won't last forever and i know everyone hates it when it goes so make use of that while you can should be around for probably the next week or so if not obviously use the main 24 7 playlist if it's good if shipment has gone but otherwise i'd recommend shipment obviously you get a lot of kills it's a small map and you know there's a lot of chaos in that map currently right now i'd also say that you've got the double xp double weapon xp and double tier progression speeds boosts on it's around for the next four days or so at the time of recording this video so it'll probably finish on tuesday the 7th of july i think so make sure you're making use of that as much as you can before that goes because you guys have only got to get to tier 16 and 31 it's not long at all so technically if you did it with this double tier progression you only need to get to like tier 8 and just over 15 so it's not much at all so as well as time you also need to make sure you're earning as much xp as possible like i say that's why most like shipment is good in multiplayer just want to point out that double xp doesn't count so even though you've got the double XP boost at the moment, it's only the double tier progression that counts. So don't use any in-game um, double XP tokens or anything like that, like that. It doesn't help you get it any faster. I'm going to quickly go over some tips for doing well in multiplayer and Warzone to get more XP and level up your tiers faster. And then I'll talk about some other great tips as well. So first of all, for multiplayer, you want obviously to have a good class. If you haven't got good classes, make sure you go and look up some good classes. Use weapons you're familiar with and you're good with, obviously. Make sure you're using kill streaks, equipment and field upgrades as much as possible. People often overlook that. You know, make sure you're using ones that can get more kills, etc. For the equipment, for example, the decoy grenade, that can be very good. Every time you throw it, it gets you a bit of XP when someone else gets a kill after you've thrown it. So if you keep doing that every time, especially on shipment, that's a really good way to get XP. Use field upgrades every time they come in. You know, don't just leave it around for a while. Use it straight away. Use the kill streaks when you can to get as many kills as possible or UAVs to see more enemies and whatnot. You want to be going for the objectives as much as possible. So if it's domination, always go for the dom points, etc. If there's kill confirmed, collect all the tags as fast as possible and you want to be getting as many kills as possible with a good class you know good streaks and equipment and some good tactics as well and obviously you know i've covered all these tips before as well for warzone you want to be making sure you're looting as much as possible pick up as much stuff as you can go onto places that haven't been visited by people in that match so if you know you see a roof and there's loads of stuff up there and you think someone hasn't been up there go up there collect it all you want to be opening as many supply drops as you can as many supply boxes you want to be stealing as much stuff as you can from other players and whatnot you want to be killing more people which obviously gets you more kills and XP, but then also allows you to loot more. Um, you want to be doing as many contracts as you can. People often overlook contracts. Make sure you don't. Make sure you do them, especially the new ones. I'll have a video for that soon as well on the new contracts. And I've got a one for the original three contacts, the Bounty, the Recon, and the Scavenger contracts. I've got a guide on that, so make sure you check it out. I have a card on the screen. You obviously want to make sure you're surviving longer as well. So if you're not as good of a player, maybe after you've got a kill or two, 
hide for a bit or not hide but sort of stay less active don't just run out there take it easy and slow try and live as long as possible so you can get to the last bit of the game where it's the last 20 30 people fighting that's really where you want to be and you ultimately want to end up in the top five or ten if possible because that gets you a lot more xp time played and that's where you want to be you obviously want to make sure you're doing challenges as well this probably works indirectly just by getting more xp so do as many challenges as you can obviously people often say oh yeah i know challenges but make sure you're doing all of them so the the daily ones the weekly ones the mission ones you've got the operator ones the camo challenges the reticle challenges and anything like that and any other calling card ones you've then also got the intel missions in warzone and then you've also got some missions in spec ops as well so make sure you're doing every single one of those every challenge you see you try and do it and that's going to help you big time and try and overlap them as much as possible so if one of them is get a certain number of kills with weapon and another one is get a certain number of kills with an attachment and another one is get a certain number of kills with a piece of equipment obviously you want to overlap all three put them into a class and that will help you bash out those challenges as fast as possible trials are really good as well but they only give a set amount of tier progression for each trial so just do them as fast as possible don't try to spay in ages it doesn't matter what number of stars you get on it it just matters that you do it so it doesn't matter if you do really poorly or really well as long as you complete it you get the same amount of tier progression so just bash them out as fast as possible find a one you're good with don't try and make it perfect to get to three stars unless you want to get more xp just bash these out as fast as possible and that helps as well if you're not sure whether you've got enough time to get this done obviously you're only wanting to get the weapons done so so set yourself a goal for the number of tiers you want to get done each day to get this done, especially if you've bought this pass near the end of the season. At the time of doing this video, it's got about a month left, slightly over. So you guys have got plenty of time to do it. At the moment, you can basically do it by doing one tier each day and you'll get both weapons done. But obviously, as time goes on, that's less and less. But, you know, you guys should be fine at the moment. Keep an eye out for any special events. Like I said, at the moment, you've got the double tier progression weekend. So make the most out of that. I'm sure you guys will get it all done with that, to be honest with you. And, and then obviously, any COD points you earn from this battle pass, you can and technically use that to buy tiers if you wanted to but obviously there's probably no need for that and recently i've noticed that sometimes certain matches will actually give you tier progression when you leave but not always so generally it's best not to leave the match until the game ends that way you get the tier progression because sometimes you do it at the moment sometimes you don't people often always ask me as well oh does plunder count every time i've done plunder it gives you a lot of progression but there are sometimes it's a little bit glitchy but often what i find is one time it either won't give you any or it will under compensate and not give you enough tier progression another time it will seem to overcompensate so it kind of balances out so yes if you guys want to play plunder feel free to that is good as well if you follow those tips you'll get these weapons unlocked in no time you get the battle pass done if you want a fuller guide a more detailed explanation on all of that then make sure you go and check out that video on screen but thank you all so much for watching hope you found this useful and that you can get those weapons unlocked i'm rooting for you guys cheers for watching let me know any other thoughts or any comments you've got down below in the comment section and hopefully i'll see you guys all on my next video thanks guys